Today is Math Lesson 64. You do have your assessment to complete on today, but you also have an extra page that deals with adding double digit numbers. Some of them are carrying problems. So that's the lesson worksheet 64. So this is what this video is for to kind of work on that page because the problems are written horizontally. And so I wanna kind of practice how to set it up when it's written like that. It's really hard to try and add up a fact that's written like that, especially if you have to carry over. So it's a good thing to try and set it up. So let's start with number one. So it's lesson worksheet 64. You will find it after your facts page, lesson worksheet 64. So number one, the first one is 73 cents, three cents, plus 15 cents, okay? So this is how they have it written. But again, sometimes it's hard to add up facts like that. So we would just practice how to set it up. So especially whenever it's like in your book, because sometimes it will be in your book like that. And so it's always good to set up vertically, especially if you have to carry over, that makes it a lot easier. But if you can add it like that, great, great. Okay, so 73 cents plus 15 cents. So we're gonna set it up. So I have 70, three cents plus the 15 cents, okay? So all I'm doing is just putting it now in the tens, ones, tens, ones, and I'm putting them one on top of the other, just like how we add. So now we can add it. Three plus five equals eight, so we don't need to carry. Seven plus one equals eight. My answer is 88 cents, okay? So that's for number one. This one did not carry. Remember, you only carry if your bad number is higher than nine, so 10 on up that's when you would carry over, okay? So let's go to number two. We'll add number two up now. All right, number two is 29 cents. So 29 cents plus 21 cents. 29 cents plus 21 cents. So now let's go ahead and add it. Start with the back. Nine plus one equals 10. So remember, I can't put the number 10 here. I only put the zero from 10 and I put the one above here. I still have the number 10. It's just set up a little differently. So now one nine plus one is 10. Let's add my three front numbers. One plus two is three. Three plus two is five. The answer is 50 cents, okay? All right, let's do number three. Seventeen cents plus twenty-seven cents. Okay, so set it up in your box like this. Seventeen cents plus twenty-seven cents. So let's start with our back number. Seven plus seven equals fourteen. So I only add my four. I only put the four here, and I put my one above here. Still the number fourteen. I just had to set it up differently. Now I add one plus one is two. Two plus two is four. 44 cents, okay? So I just wanted to practice those three with you so you can do the rest of the page on your own, just getting good practice with carrying. So this is how you set it up. So sometimes it'll be like this, but it's better to set the problem up this way, especially because next week we're moving on to adding three digits. So yeah, you might wanna set it up like this. But if you can add like this and get it correct and carry, then you're free to do that. But if not, then you can always set it up. So if it's written in your book like this, you won't have a box more than likely. Sometimes you won't, but what you could do, so say if I had the problem set up like this in my book and I didn't have this box, all you could do is just move this here, okay? That's all you can do is just move the 50 and the 73. So you would take out 73 and move it here. So X that out and then you can set it up and add it that way, okay? So that's pretty much what you could do. Five plus three, same thing. Eight. One plus, same thing, okay? So that's only if like in your book, you don't have the box. But if you have the box, put the facts in the box. But if not, that's a way you can do it in your book. All right, so that's lesson worksheet 64. You can do your other pages and your assessment on today.